Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the brand new Good Luck 2020 update for our Samsung devices. Now this is going to be specific to Samsung devices running One UI 2.0 with Android 10.0. So for me, ever since I received my update on my Galaxy S10 Plus, one of the main things I've been waiting for is for Good Luck to update and not only that, start working in there and showing me all the cool new modules that they're able to give us to customize our brand new Galaxy S10 Plus and hopefully the brand new Galaxy S20 line of devices coming out next week. This is TK, let's go ahead and check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. I want to say thank you very much to 3Labs for sponsoring today's video and providing us the XFITs to be able to showcase in our video. The XFITs are actually very nice, budget friendly, under 50 bucks, true wireless headphones, very nice earpieces, uh, up to 4 hours of playtime, as well as IPS6 rating with Bluetooth 5.0 out of the box. Again, all for under 50 bucks, available on Amazon. I'll give you guys more information in the description below. Thank you very much to 3Labs. What I have in front of us here is Android 9.0 running on the Galaxy Fold and Android 10.0 running on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now the S10 Plus did officially receive this update directly from Samsung. This is no longer the beta. And no, uh, basically, good luck 2020 has been updated in the actual gallery, app gallery from Samsung. And of course, the ability of updating all the different modules just is very simple. You can actually click the little actual app store here. It'll take you directly in here and it'll say if there is an update. If there is an update, you'll be able to see it. Let's go ahead and switch back and then we'll go back into good luck. Now, good luck will still work on Android 9.0, even earlier versions. It just, the actual modules, like you may see some modules available on Android 10 that may not be available here, or may be available and just not updated yet on Android 9. Overall, the UI is very similar. The main difference here is a better compatibility with dark mode. So if we go into the Galaxy Store and then just look for good luck, very simple, very easy. If you don't have it installed, just look for the actual application itself. It's actually just called good luck and it will automatically show you the one that's compatible with your device. Once you find it, install it. And for me, I already have it installed so we can scroll back a little bit. And these are some screenshots. You'll notice they're all in white color and they're very similar to the one we have here. And you'll see that some of the updates here, Naughty Star, um, as far as Quick Star, Nav Star, Task Changer and additional things were updated. But the main change here essentially is a better support for dark theme, follow the One UI principle. So basically the new aesthetical look that they actually brought in with One UI 2.0, change the new format of profile information app, show splash screen, of good luck app which essentially means every time we launch the application let's go ahead and crash it here let's close so i'll close it here you notice now there is a splash screen that comes up before we start the application before when we did here let's go ahead and close everything and if I just launch it, it opens up straight into it. So they added a few little aesthetical changes here to give us uh, something that looks a little bit better. Uh, and of course, they give us here Android 10 only. Multistar will start working there. Uh, theme Park is a very nice and very easy way to customize and create custom themes based on the wallpaper or a specific image that you guys have. And of course, Target is Android o, uh, sorry, OP uh, as of 8.0, uh, sorry, as of 8.0 Samsung devices. So for the most part, if you have a Korean, English or Chinese device running One UI, this is going to be compatible. So unfortunately, no Arabic support yet. But keep in mind that hopefully we'll see more updates as time goes on. Um, other than that, all you have to do is essentially literally launch the application itself directly within your device. And then you'll see the list of all the compatible modules that are will work with your device. You'll notice the list here is a little bit different than what I have it on my Galaxy Note here, or this Galaxy Fold. The Galaxy Fold don't, uh, doesn't support everything, but it definitely supports the one that matter the most. So for me, Task Changer for me here is very nice and I can still go in there, change it, customize it. And you can see it here, it's using actually a much nicer UI. I can do the custom launch options, which are the mini applications here, and I can launch them in pop-up window, or you can just basically launch them directly as full screen apps. Very nice, very simple. And of course, all you have to do here, if it's not installed or if it's not working, like you know there, it says Mavstar, unplug, you go straight into the actual app store and then update it. If it does update and it still doesn't work, that means they're just still working on the update for it. So I would give it a few more days. Hopefully we'll see an update for that very soon. But again, the ones that are uh, blue, like installed and ready to go, like right here, task changer, very similar to the way we saw it there. I can go list, grid, carousel, slim, vertical slack, stack, very easy, mini mode and blur background, of course, center the most recent application. And then launching it is very simple. You just swipe up from where you normally have it if you have gestures. And if you're using the navigation buttons, it just uses the same function. So let's go ahead and open up another app. Here's the Google Play Store. And you can see here, it just opens them up and runs them exactly the way we want them. Task Changer is definitely working. Routines is still up unplugged. Uh, clock Face, this is something that you can actually use to customize the lock screen clock face. So you'll notice right there by default, 
I have my live wallpaper, but I can customize it by adding a clock in there, set customizing and adding just different uh, aspect of it, a digital or an analog clock. Uh, Multi-star works really nice for us to be able to basically start using multiple uh, tasks for multitasking. So we can change the color of the split screen. Uh, we can actually even just go minimize here. So let's go ahead and bring this and I can just do a quick pop-up window option. So this is where you go in there to customize that under the pop-up view action. Uh, multi-window screen zoom and of course you can force multi-window for all your applications but it does require a restart for that um, just keep in mind not all applications will look great since this is kind of a forced option and of course uh, pop-up view minimization split screen color you can change that i changed that a little bit it would be a little bit of blue color there um, noti star is very nice and again same thing it catches all the notifications because it just got updated it seems like it cleared all the the, the entire slate that we had before so don't worry about that but it will start aggregating all the notifications that you have coming in uh, Navstar, of course, also does need to be updated. It did show an update and it did go through, but it's seems that it's not working. Now, NiceShot is showing in here, but there's something that you need to be aware of. NiceShot by itself, actually, all of the functionalities have been baked into the operating system. So if you have this still running from an earlier version of GoodLock, you just don't have to worry about it. Just go ahead and uninstall it and you don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, now, under the family section is where we see some of the additional options. We'll see Theme Park. Theme Park is very, very nice. And this is a nice little option that enables us to actually create custom themes based on an image. So let's go ahead and go new design. And let's say I want to be able to create a custom theme around the Spider-Man image. I'll go ahead and select the image. And you notice right out of the box, it took the black, red, and uh, white coloring in there and started to permeate it through the design. And I can actually go through and customize additional options in here. So I can go in there, change the background of the bubbles, the style, the icon pack, and all of these options to create a custom theme and then save it and apply it to my device. Very nice, very easy to use. And the beauty of it is it will work with depending on the picture that you're putting in. So you can change it as many times as you want and make your theme match the background. So an example for me, if I wanted to have a more uh, color accurate theme that is compatible with the Dragon Ball Super image that I have right here of both Goku and Vegeta, I can definitely do that with a theme park, which is still actually working with the existing version um, of this. So I can just go ahead and go design. And I can go here and I can pick up that image right there that I have and I can go in and customize additional options in here again same way all of the stuff work just beautifully on both of these guys um, one-handed operation of course still very very functional i like it very much uh, i can still use it here to swipe back and of course add additional features and of course again with the splash screen when we go back here um, and you can actually customize it on both sides although keep in mind on the galaxy fold this only works on the left side as on the right side you have the navigate uh, that little launcher option so it will not work on the right side so again still functional within the existing version of good luck only thing is it just sits on the left side and you can customize the options. Even though it still says right hand, you're pretty much limited to the left. Uh, last but not least here, let's go ahead and go back one more time. We have Edge Lighting Plus now better customizations and it works a little bit better. We have obviously the ability of going with Loop, uh, Celebrate, Black Hole, and of course Glitter, Heart, and all the different options, the colors, and of course the duration and shots. So all of the things that we want to be able to get them here for notifications so on, all very, very nice. Uh, Edge Touch is also here and you can actually turn it on to disable functionalities in certain parts of your display. And of course, Sound Assistant is just absolutely very nice. So I'll go ahead and change the volume a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead and turn it back on, make sure it's on. Oh, here it is, the floating window. So whenever you change your actual uh, volume, you'll notice you'll get this little option. You can customize it and you can open it. And if you have multiple sources, let's say multiple apps that generate audio, you can customize the volume per app. And of course, last but not least, go into the settings and then customize the EQ straight from wherever you are in the actual system. So GoodLock 2020 is definitely jam-packed with features and customizations for our Samsung devices. Now, specifically, obviously, the 2020 model will work with One UI 2.0 with Android 10. If you're running an earlier version, like the way I have it with Android 9 on the Galaxy Fold, it's still going to receive the update. You'll still have better uh, compatibility with dark mode. It's just not gonna have all of the modules and not everything is gonna work the exact way that it's gonna run on Android 10. So. Android 8, 9, and 10 have different versions of GoodLock and all of them are going to get more features and definitely a better implementation of customizations. And that's the best way to uh, really explain it. These are things that we used to have to root devices for and now they're actually applications that we can just download and install. But let's not waste any time. If you have a Samsung device and you haven't checked out GoodLock before, make sure you go to the Galaxy Store and just search for the word GoodLock. You're not gonna be disappointed and you're gonna come back and say thank you. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite uh, module within GoodLock, either be it the 2020 model or even back as early as uh, Gal well, Android 8.0.